Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to enable and use the whitelist on your Java server. For all plans, including VPS and classic plans, what you have to do is click on the Place tab on the left of your dashboard. Before you do anything, make sure your server is online. This is because you can't access the whitelist section if your server is offline. Afterwards, click on the whitelist section. To enable whitelisting on your server, all you then have to do is press on the enabled button. To check that whitelisting is working as intended, check the console tab. You'll know it's working fine if it says whitelist is now turned on. However, there's another way to check it's working correctly. All you have to do is not write anyone's username in the whitelist section. Then launch your Minecraft Java game. When it's open, head to the multiplayer section and add a server. For the server address section, refer back to your server's dashboard and copy the host name there. Then then name your server whatever you want and join it. If a screen appears saying you're not whitelisted on the server, that means you follow these steps correctly and the whitelist is working. Now that whitelisting is enabled, you just have to add players onto the whitelist. You just have to go back to the whitelist tab and where it says add player, type in the username of the player you'd like added. Once you've done that, press enter and it'll add the player to the whitelist. If at any point you'd like to remove someone from the whitelist, all you have to do is hover over the three dots next to their name and click remove. However, there's a more manual method which you can also use. What you have to do is head into your console or shell tab. There you can type in whitelist add and then the player's name. You'll know the command is a success when it says added player to the whitelist. If you want to remove someone through this method as well, all you have to do is type in whitelist remove and it should say removed player from whitelist. Quickly, don't forget to add yourself to the whitelist so you can test if it's working correctly. But once you're done, launch your game again and try to enter your server. After a little bit, it should let you in. If the same happens for you, then you follow these steps correctly. However, if this doesn't happen for you, make sure to go back and refollow the steps. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.